Jake Taylor and his brother Sam drive to the farmhouse in Iowa that their client wants to restore, and Jake admires the interior. Sam is busy on his phone, and barely notices. There's no power, and the brothers go to the cellar to find the breaker. Jake notices his brother's lack of attention, and spots a turn-of-the-century barometer on one wall. Sam gets a photo from his prospective date Francesca and asks Jake when they'll be done that night. That night, Sam meets Francesca at a club and blames Jake for arriving late. He mentions Jake's newly adopted daughter, and Sam and Francesca talk about Jake's new daughter and Alice's husband Roger. The next day, Francesca drops Sam off at the farmhouse. He apologizes for being late, and Jake asks him if bothers him to be such a cliché millennial. He asks if Sam has thought about his suggestion to go into business with him, suggesting that Jake make their partnership official, but Sam tells him that it's Jake's dream, not him. They haul their tools in and Jake complains that Sam is always searching and he should stop wasting both their times if a life in construction isn't for him. The two brothers go to work renovating the house, and Sam finds an old Fig Newton tin containing old mementos. There's a matchbook with the word cabbage written on the inside cover and a photo of woman in a wedding dress. Sam stares at it wistfully. The storm alarm in the town goes off, and the brothers bring their equipment inside. The breaker goes out and Sam goes down to the cellar to reset it. The pressure in the cellar changes and Sam clutches at his ears in pain. When the pain and the pressure change stops, Sam sees sunlight streaming in through the windows, even though it was night. The breaker box is gone, and he runs upstairs to find the house in pristine and furnished condition. A woman, Evelyn Porter, is singing as she plays the piano. Sam follows the singing to the parlor and finds Evelyn at the piano, and she sees his reflection in a vase and grabs it as a weapon. She asks if he's from the bank, and tells Sam that he's trespassing and needs to leave. Sam runs upstairs to find Jake, and Evelyn grabs a shotgun and points it at Sam. As Sam runs back downstairs, Evelyn sees her mother Paula arriving in a carriage and tells Sam that Paula hates bankers even more than she does so he'd better leave. Sam runs outside, and Paula comes in and calls to Evelyn, who goes back to the piano. Evelyn claims that no one is there, and Paula says that she brought a desk for Evelyn's engagement party and it's a gift from her fiancé, William. She insists that Evelyn wear the dress because it's what William wants, and Evelyn reluctantly takes it, walking around the horse. Sam sees the carriage but not his brother's truck. He walks into the nearby truck and finds it a thriving community rather than the nearly abandoned community that it was in his time. Old-fashioned cars drive down the street, and Sam finds the bar closed by the 1919 Prohibition Act. At the house in the cellar, Evelyn takes out a hidden record and plays it on her phonograph. She mouths along to the music and smiles, and Paula comes in and demands the records. She says that a certain behavior is expected of a young woman, and when Evelyn reminds her of her dead brother Emmett's love of music and Paula is selling herself off to a rich husband. Her mother reminds her that her brother is dead and Evelyn could do worse than William. She warns that William won't understand Evelyn's perverse taste in music. As Evelyn hands the records over, Sam comes in and says that the records are his. He introduces himself and says that he was a friend of Emmett's and he came by to pick up his records. When Paula wonders if he and Emmett practice together, Evelyn says that they were classmates at medical school and Sam is a doctor. Impressed, Paula hands over the records and asks if Sam will be joining them at the engagement party. Sam says that he's just passing through and after Paula leaves, Sam gives Evelyn the records. She thanks him for stepping in, and Sam tries to find the barometer. He explains that he's trying to get home, and finally tells Evelyn that he's from the future, 2019. When Evelyn, Sam tries to show her his phone but realizes that he dropped it somewhere. He shows her the photo he found of her and says that he found it in the future, and explains that sometime in her future, Evelyn will have her picture taken. Evelyn says that her grandfather built the house 40 years ago and it's not a good time to talk to him. Sam figures that the grandfather will be at the party, and convinces Evelyn to provide him with suitable clothing to get in. That night at the party at William's house, Evelyn takes the tuxedoed Sam to meet with her grandfather, Warren, Sam mentions the pressure drop. And Warren's friend Henry Barrett talks about how pressure drops during a storm. Before Henry can explain further, William announces that after his wife died a year ago of influenza, they're fortunate to have found someone wonderful to join their family. Everyone applauds as Evelyn joins William, and a turkey trot dance begins. 
Sam overhears William telling Evelyn that he's arranged a sitting for her with a photographer, in her bridal gown. Evelyn remembers the photo Sam showed her and glances over at him, and William notices Sam and asks who he is. William's daughter Mildred comes over and invites Sam to dance. They dance together until the song ends, and William sends Mildred to bed. He then thanks Sam for entertaining his daughter and leaves. Evelyn goes over and says that SM was right about the photograph. She says that Henry just left, and invites Sam for a walk. As Evelyn and Sam walk down the town street, Evelyn asks about the future and Sam describes takeout and music speakers. Evelyn says that she wants all of it, and they come to a pharmacy above a speakeasy. The woman knows about it from Emmett, and Sam suggests that they go in. And Sam remembers the word cabbage from the matchbook and uses it as the password. The shopkeeper lets them down into the speakeasy and they order drinks at the bar. Sam tries to pay with some of his 2019 currency, and Evelyn quickly covers the cost. Sam picks up a matchbook and pockets it, and Evelyn offers a toast to the future. Evelyn sways to the singer on stage and smiles, and Sam notices and invites her to dance. She accepts and they dance until the song ends. Sam suggests that Evelyn do a song, and when she hesitates he bets her on a coin flip. He wins the toss and Evelyn goes up on the stage. She sings the song Sam heard her singing at the house, and Sam gives her the thumbs up as they exchange glances. Once Evelyn finishes, everyone applauds. They leave and Sam assures her that she was incredible and she belongs on the stage. Evelyn says that she wasn't looking at the crowd, and Paula arrives and asks Evelyn what she thought she was doing. Sam tries to take the blame but Paula doesn't believe him. She knows about the speakeasy because Emmett used to come there, and tells Evelyn that she's a young lady with a reputation to uphold. When Sam points out that Evelyn doesn't love William, Paula tells him that it's none of his concern and takes Evelyn home. Sam says that Evelyn doesn't have to go with Paula, and Evelyn turns and tells him that he knows nothing. The next morning, Sam finds Henry at his barn and says that he needs the pressure to drop again. He wonders how he would know when the pressure drops low enough, and Henry shows him the barometer from the cellar and tells Sam that he should hang it on the wall and watch for the needle to drop. When Sam describes the storm, a derecho, Henry says that they often last for a couple of weeks but it's not an exact science. Henry takes the barometer back, and Sam asks if he can borrow it. When Henry refuses to give it away, Sam offers to help fix his barn doors and Henry accepts. Later, Evelyn is packing her things when Sam comes in. She says that she's getting away from the town, and Sam says that he thinks he knows a way that they can travel to 2019. Sam promises that she can have all of those things if she comes with him, even if she doesn't stay with him. He shows her the barometer and explains about the air pressure. Sam suggests that Evelyn was always meant to come back with him, and Evelyn kisses him. She then tells him that the wedding is in 10 days and wonders what happens if the derecho doesn't come, and Sam says that they have to wait for it to get worse. He then kisses Evelyn back. In the cellar, Sam puts up the barometer while Evelyn packs a bag. They go upstairs and go about their lives, Evelyn with William and Sam working on the barn doors. At night they wait together for the derecho to arrive and kiss. Paula helps Evelyn measure her wedding dress, and William sees Sam and Evelyn together. One day Henry tells Sam that he does nice work and invites him to stay for dinner. Meanwhile, Evelyn has her photo taken in her wedding dress at William's place. William tells Evelyn that he always wants to remember her young and beautiful and the derecho gathers outside. Evelyn says that she's feeling lightheaded and excuses herself. She runs back to her home and goes to the cellar with Sam, who says that it's almost time. As they watch the barometer, William and two of his men came in, and William says that Evelyn is a common whore. She tells him that the marriage is only about money, and one of the men beats Sam while William and the other man drag Evelyn away. Once the other man leaves, the pressure drops and Sam is transported back to 2019. Sam runs upstairs, finds Jake, and demands to know where Evelyn is. His brother has no idea what he's talking about, and Sam shows him the newer matchbook from the speakeasy. Jake figures it just means Sam found a matchbook in better condition, and suggests that Sam hit his head. Sam insists that Evelyn was real, and Jake tells his brother that Evelyn is a piece of history that is now long gone.
The older brother tells Jake that he has to stay and find a way back to Evelyn. He borrows Jake's cell phone, lightning cable, and a blanket from his truck so he can stay there and figure things out. As he waits alone, Sam reads an old newspaper article a catastrophic derecho that hit the town in 1919. Evelyn's name is among the missing. Jake comes back to work, and the radio announcer described how the last super derecho was a hundred years ago and the next one will be in 10 or 15 years. Sam continues waiting, and Jake invites him to dinner. His younger brother refuses, and the storm alarm goes off. Sam runs down to the cellar and watches the barometer needle drop. Sam travels through time and runs upstairs. The house is newer than it was in 1919, and the table is set for a birthday party of a five-year-old girl. Sam hears singing and as he runs upstairs, he finds a poster for Evelyn singing at a nightclub in 2034. He sees her singing to her son, Little Sam, and as he leaves steps Little Sam's toy. Sam runs back to the cellar and watches as the barometer needle drops. He finds himself back in 2019, and discovers that Jake built a wine cellar that changed the cellar's configuration. After trying to rip the wine cellar walls down, Sam begs Jake to help him and explains how he saw that he and Evelyn had a child in the future. He insists that he has to get back to Evelyn to save her, and Jake asks if Sam will see a doctor if he tears down the wine cellar. Sam agrees and the brothers tear down the walls. Once they do, Sam locks the door behind Jake and goes back to the barometer as the derecho comes up again. Sam finds himself in a flooded cellar. He goes upstairs but there's no sign of Evelyn or Paula. He goes to William's house and pounds on the window. When Evelyn comes over, William tells her that they have to go. They run back to the farm and go to the cellar despite the rising waters from the storm. A support collapses on Sam, knocking him into the water and trapping him. Sam tells Evelyn to go on her own, explaining what he saw in 2034 and assuring her that she'll make it. Evelyn refuses to go, but Sam tells her that it'll be okay and to tell little Sam that he loves her. The current sweeps Evelyn away, and she grabs Sam's hand. He tells her that he loves her and she has to let go, and Evelyn does so. Once the pressure drops, she leaves the cellar and finds Jake. She stares at the old house that was once hers, while Jake goes downstairs and finds no sign of Sam. Later, Evelyn sits alone in the cellar. Jake brings her food and clothing but she isn't interested in eating. She mentions how Sam said there'd be music in every room, and Jake tells her that Sam really loved her. He describes how Sam talked about her singing, and Evelyn talks about Emmett's record collection and how Sam saved them the day they met. Jake pries open the original walls and they find a letter from Sam to Evelyn. In it he tells Evelyn that the neighbors rescued him from the flooding basement. Sam waited for a year but another derecho never came. He figured that he belonged in 1919 and found his place there in a time with a limited number of choices. Sam put the matchbook and photo where he'd find them in 2019. He also left a baseball card for Jake, the one that Sam had tried to find when they were boys. In the letter, Sam tells Evelyn to stop looking because it's time for her to get the life that is waiting for her. Wearing her new clothes, Evelyn goes out and smiles at her new world. Sam starts a construction business in 1919. In 2039, Evelyn assures little Sam that no one is there. After the boy hears Sam trip on the toy, she assures him that everything is fine and goes out into the hallway. There's no sign of Sam. Thank you for watching, subscribe Movies Explain for more this types of videos.